What's up guys, so in today's video what we're going to be doing is changing from the stock silver caliper color over to this red, clean, fresh look on the 10th gen Honda Civic. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do this. Alright guys, so here's everything we're going to be using today. We have uh, some plastic to mask off whenever we're painting so we don't get any overspray anywhere. We got some brake cleaner because we're going to have to clean up the brakes. And then uh, we have the red uh, paint, it's the high temperature. And then we have some primer which is high temperature as well. And then we have some clear coat. So we're going to be using all of these. And of course we'll need the floor jack and some jack stands. Alrighty, first things first, let's go ahead and jack up the car, put the jack stand under and pull the tire off. Alright guys, so now that the wheel is off, we're good to go ahead and clean the caliper areas. So what I did was I jacked up all four tires and then I just pulled all the wheels off. So everything is jacked up to where it's much faster to just paint them all at the same time this way. You guys can do like one at a time, two on the back, and do finish those and then move to the front side and do those as well. I just think this is going to be fastest just because I got four jack stands. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and clean the calipers. Okay, so now that it's nice and clean, we are good to go ahead and start wrapping it and taping everything off. Alrighty, so now that everything is masked off, we're good to go ahead and spray with our primer. Alrighty, so after the first coat, we just wait about 15 to 20 minutes and then we can apply the second coat. So let's go ahead and do the second coat now. Alrighty, so I just got done with the second coat. It's dried for about 30 minutes now. After looking at it, you can do three coats. I'm thinking I did two pretty heavy coats, so I, we're good to go ahead and start with the red. So let's do that now. Alright guys, it's been about 20 minutes, we're going to go ahead and hit it with the second coat. All 
All right, you guys, the second coat is done drying. We can hit it with the third coat now. So let's go ahead and do it. Alright guys, so here is where we're at now. We have two coats of primer, we have three coats of the red paint, and now we can go ahead and hit it with our clear coat. I just had some extra clear coat laying around, so I'm just gonna be using this rosoleum. It's a little bit cheaper, it's like, I don't know, three or four dollars a can. So we'll just hit a couple coats with that, and then let it dry, and then we will be finished with painting, and then we can remove all the masking and see what the final product looks like. So let's go ahead and do that now, guys. Alrighty, so that sat and dried for about 20 minutes, so we'll go ahead and hit it again with another coat of clear coat. Alrighty guys, so the second coat is now completely dry. You can do two or three coats with the clear coat. I decided to do two because uh, my seven coat was pretty heavy. So now that everything is dry, I can go ahead and remove all the masking or all the plastic. Alrighty, now that we removed all the tape and plastic, we can go ahead and pop the tires back on. So let's do that now. Alrighty, so as you see here, I got a little bit of overspray onto the rotor, so I just poured a little bit of acetone onto a rag and just wiped it off. It comes clean, uh, so if you have any lacquer, acetone, or paint remover, just put some on a rag and then wipe it off the overspray. Very satisfied with the, with the end result, and overall, I would say the process took me roughly three hours to paint all four at the same time. The main part that you have to wait for is just the paint to dry because you don't want to paint it too soon. So you have to make sure that you wait, let it dry between coats, and then it'll turn out really nice like it is. So if you guys just follow the steps, you can do this on any car. Uh, in particular, I'm doing this on a 10th gen Civic. And feel free, if you guys learned something, smash the like button. If you want to follow the journey because I'm going to be doing some more upgrades and you know doing a chrome delete on the next video, feel free to subscribe and follow the journey. Appreciate you guys.